Hello everyone. This tutorial is about analyzing different protein protein interaction analysis using string database. So first of all, what you need to do is to go on the string website, just search it on Google. It will directly take you uh, to the page of uh, strings. And uh, this is the first GUI you may see while running the uh, string database. This is the main GUI. You can search it by different ways, by name, by sequence, by protein. Let's say I'm writing a protein name that is protein uh, tryptophan. And now I want to detect uh, um, or select any specific species. For instance, here I'm selecting as I'm a homo sapiens. So I will go with homo sapiens. And I'm selecting here homo sapiens and then the search button. Now you will go through different ways that how to analyze uh, and uh, find a lot of information related to trypsin protein. So it's giving a lot of results uh, of, of different trypsin protein. I am selecting here AMBP protein. And uh, this, after selecting the protein, it will take us to this page. Here you can see that the net network of different proteins which are associated with AMBP in uh, around 10 different uh, proteins so first of all, uh, you can see here that there are different colors of the different nodes. For instance, the colored node uh, here that is representing something and other colored nodes are representing different things. All the details are mentioned below. For instance, red color represents the query proteins in first shell of interactions. That This is our protein of interest. And the rest of the uh, different uh, the nodes which are connected by different edges or lines are all available here. You can see that known interactions which are already under review and so on. So this is the network which we are viewing. So other than that, we can go on different databases and we can see that what sort of information related to AMBP protein is available in different databases. And here you can see that the list of the proteins databases and the in bunch of information available related to this protein and the and other proteins that are in its cluster. So here you can see that uh, a lot of different information that depends whatever you want to do uh, and what you want to analyze for instance I am here selecting a reactome pathway uh, database and here you can see that this AMP B protein is linked with so many different proteins uh, that is uh, available in the reactome database next you can just click on that uh, protein and uh, by clicking the, this uh, 3d structure that will directly take it you to the PDM, a PDB uh, uh, link where you can see that the PDB ID and a lot of different information. For example, here the Ramachandran plot from the project that is also available here. You can just see that the, the quality of this uh, structure that how much this is good. This protein chain contains 166 amino acids. And uh, this is the Ramachandran plot. Uh, I'm not going with the details of Ramachandran because this is beyond, beyond the scope of this tutorial. But if you want to save this image for your further analysis, you can just right click it and you can just save this image. Rest of the details related uh, that is from the project uh, tool, uh, all the statistics related to this protein, that most favorable regions, allowed regions, disallowed regions, all the information is available, right? So next, what you can do uh, is you can for instance you can go in on other proteins and you can select that what type of information is available for this AHSG protein so if you click this yeah, so you can see here that the, there is no uh, sequence or uh, available information against this protein for instance you clicked FGG protein uh, it, let's see yeah so here you can see that it uh, took us to the Swiss model website and a lot of information related to this uh, protein and its structure uh, that is uh, uh, and a lot of different oxygen IDs that from RSCB, RCSB that is the protein data bank you can just click on that link and here on the right side you can see that uh, you can play around with the 3d structure you want to download first make it of your own interest that what you want to represent here for instance you want to represent the aromatic compounds and and you can just select that and uh, after selecting that for instance here uh, you can view it in any way you want for instance 
I want to see the lines let's refresh it I think it's taking a time but here you can on the left side you can see that the sequence alignment of that uh, protein and so on so there are so many things you can do next if you if we go on other uh, uh, resources available on the string database for instance you want to see that these uh, network of proteins how they co-occur in other for instance here other species right so this uh, uh, the information about these genes is available uh, in different species that which one which species contain what uh, of these genes which are available in this cluster right so again uh, the other thing that you can see that the co-expression of these genes uh, in different uh, species for instance here is mus musculus stratus norvegicus daniel rario was taurus these are first two are the rodents other two are uh, the Danny Red is the fish, zebra fish and boss taurus, you know, that is cow, right? So all the information related to these uh, uh, genes, that the expression of these genes in different species can also be viewed here in that uh, string database. And yeah, and this information is provided by, as you can see in the header that, by the, from the proteome and, uh, database. Now, let's see what uh, other things we can do here uh, first uh, like if we go on the settings so here you can see that uh, the total number of interactions with the first shell that is AMBP is showing 10 if I refresh it by 50 and we want to see all the 50 different interactions we just select those options and click the update so now you can go through all this information in each of the options available below with the each of the possible co-occurrence co-expression and so on right so here you can see that all these genes are showing interaction network right so mainly uh, if we just go for the physical network that which are actually connected together uh, in a physical complex right uh, so here you can see this is the physical network but for full network that is the functional association between all these genes based on some direct or indirect relationship so yeah so these two things you can also do right for if you want to narrow down the physical uh, interactions and so on right other things you know that gene ontology analysis is a very key in functional analysis of proteins so here you can see that the total number of nodes 51 nodes are showing information of different gene ontologies for biological processes cellular components molecular function and other from other protein, PFAM ID, and other databases, right? So many things. And also the reactome pathways and CAC pathways, right? So you can just, by just writing the trypsin protein, now we have a lot of information related to the molecular processes, biological function, and so on, in addition to the, that the reactome pathways, CAG pathway analysis, everything is under one roof, that is string database, right? So there are so many things uh, which may help you in your protein protein interaction analysis now one more interesting thing is the k-means clustering you know that what is the k-mean it will cluster the most closely related uh, genes together it's uh, taking a bit of time here you can see the waiting for string database yeah now you can see how that this string da database actually clustered uh, into three main clusters uh, one is k-mean here you can see there's a very big cluster at the end and top two clusters separately so it's uh, showing that how these genes are closely related and are clustered right so depending on your question of interest you can do that analysis now if you want to export this information obviously when you perform an analysis you have to have a figure of the publication quality figure so you can just download the PNG format and also if you want to have a high resolution a format figure you can also download that right all these options are available and there are a lot of things which I am just missing because these are very evident and straightforward uh, you can go there and you can perform the analysis so here you can see that this is the normal image maybe if you zoom it more the pixel quality will break however if you use the high quality image that will not break the that's uh, how it is why it is important 
as well as you can download the tabular format information of all these genes all of all these interactions and so on right other thing also as uh, just to uh, show you that you can also perform mcl clustering here here you can see that uh, it's just clustered using the mcl function and so there are so many things you can do right now if you just want to download that clusters in a tabular format it will directly download that information so all these things you can see here are uh, downloaded and uh, from the uh, string database let's suppose if, if you want to see that enrichment of NCAG pathway you know what is the uh, enrichment analysis that this is the functional enrichment uh, analysis or the in CAG pathway it will identify the set of genes out of those network which are associated with specific phenotype specific pathway specific disease right so if we see this just uh, go through I'm just copying it into an Excel file so you can see that how much information you can extract from only enrichment analysis of CAG pathway using string database so just write protein statistical analysis enter again enter then you can see just copy it here I'll just cancel so here you can see yeah now these are the all uh, different uh, pathways which have been identified using CAG here you can see that uh, out of all the interacting genes 12 genes are observed in the complement and coagulation cascades uh, out of total 78 genes and then cholesterol metabolism uh, PPAR signaling pathway and so on all this information so, yeah so you can set it as you want for your analysis extract the specific genes set of specific pathway for your analysis that depends on you and so on right other than that just go through a bit of these uh, you know files quickly for instance you want to find the enrichment of uh, your network network analysis and uh, you just say here that there are three complex networks which are identified and total number of genes are also mentioned here so you just copy it in excel and go through the whole process right so there are so many things which may help you in performing the uh, analysis of e any specific protein so here you can see we started with one gene trypsin gene uh, you can say protein and then we uh, went through so many different aspects of protein protein analysis interaction analysis keg pathways reactome pathways we can look for protein domains their pdb ids we can perform k-mean clustering and so on so i think this uh, i should conclude here because uh, that depends on you that how you want to view these files you can do it yourself just write up the protein name and you can do all these things under one roof that is string database